Hello Angels and welcome to today's video. That's right, it's another Football Friday. Time to select another team from the 19 remaining and I have to do a makeup look inspired by the team colors. So if you want to know what team is chosen and what makeup look I come up with, keep on watching. So I did something a little different. Instead of Google Home choosing my team or choosing a number, I had my daughter pick a number from 1 to 19 and I'll show you. She selected number 16. Alright, so she chose the number 16. I'm just going to randomly mix up my cards here. Here we go. One. Two, three, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 14, 15, 16. The Washington Redskins. Oh, Nikki, your dad would be so proud of you. Burgundy and gold. Uh, so would your grandma because that was my mom's favorite team. Uh, because as some of you may know, I'm originally from Maryland. I live in South Florida right now, but this is the team I have to work with. I have to work with Burgundy and Gold. Let me get some inspiration and I will be right back. Here are some images of Washington Redskins I found on the web. Okay. Like that kind of Burgundy, which I'm thinking of the modern Renaissance palette. Of course, I've hit pan on my favorite Burgundy color. Just recently did that. So, in the Anastasia Beverly Hills modern, modern Renaissance palette. Ooh, look at this pretty burgundy. This is Fierce by Hikari Cosmetics. That is a deep burgundy. I don't know. Let's see. It's really pretty though. Doing with the Anastasia Beverly Hills and the, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. That color fierce from the Hikari Cosmetics. Cruelty free. Very nice. All right. Well, let's zoom in and get started on the eyes. All right, angels. Um, I got a basic idea of kind of what I want to do. I still haven't found my goal, actually. Uh, so I'll go with this color by NYX. It's called Butterscotch. So I'm thinking I'm going to start with the burgundy and the crease. Uh, working some of the gold on the lid and then I have a really cool gold eyeliner like gold gold maybe do a gold wing on that maybe we'll see how it comes out all right first off I need to start off with a transition color so I am going to go into the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and I'm going to go into the crease with a nice neutral shade let's choose burnt orange burgundy and gold and as I've explained in the past I used to take gold to mean like gold like shimmery gold now I know that that is not the case it is actually a yellow gold and I have to research the team to know if they mean gold gold or yellow gold like the 49ers I think that was a gold gold so now I'm going to go into the crease and start off with the Venetian red and then blend in a little bit of love letter to try and define that crease with the burgundy and I'm gonna do that with let's see I have a scone blending brush and I'm going in with love letter right now just building up that color a little bit and then I will put Venetian, um, no, I'm going in with, with Venetian red, I apologize. Going in with Venetian red and then I'm going to build it up with Love Letter up at the top. And you have to take your time with blending, especially if you're like I am. I have lots of, I have very veiny eyelids. Venetian red is on and we're going to move on to our next color. So next up is a Morphe M441 brush. And I'm just going to build Love Letter up above the Venetian Red color. Really make that burgundy pop. And then I'll blend it out with the neutral color. 
See how much darker that color is? Right, so to work with my cutting, you've seen me kind of do this before, it's almost like the little makeshift cut crease. I will use the L'Oreal True Match Concealer, which has the perfect applicator, dotting all over the lid. But this time, I don't think I'm gonna set it with powder. I'm gonna go right in with the yellow. It's a little vintage brush into that gold color, and you're almost kind of setting the wet with that color. And it should make it pop out. It's petting motion to put that on there. See how that really makes that yellow pop? And now she is set on there. She's good to go. On the back of my hand, use a small, um, thin brush. Bring that out almost like a wing. And then what I can do, because I always clean up underneath, Again, that brush from the vintage. Pat that gold on the outside there. I'm trying to keep that line as straight as possible on the top, because like I said, the bottom is gonna get cleaned up. That's a pretty good. I want a little bit sharper though. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit around there and just really load up my brush with that color. Pat it on, that's better. Do you wanna clean up that line? Or you don't wanna take off, I should say, like any moisturizer and things and dry up your under eye. Handy dandy makeup remover from Mary Kay. Just drop a tad on the back of my hand and using a Q-tip or um, an angled brush just go ahead and clean up that outer edge there and sharpen her up. See how that gets up? And now you've got yourself a yellow wing line. So what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to work that fierce, and it might be taking this a step too far, working this just in the crease there, just to deepen it up a little bit. And I need a very precise. All right, so I've got my little. <laughs> All right, Angel, so sorry, my fan. My silly camera decided to take a vacation and shut off, but I wanted to show you what I did on the other eye. After finishing up that yellow, I took the red color of Fierce from the Hikari collection which is said to be a cream pigment, uh, and it does go on very smoothly. And so I took that just above where the yellow is to kind of define it a little bit, and did that on both eyes, of course. And then of course, you know, I have to be a little extra, and I went a little berserk and put it in my inner corner and brought it up a little bit higher, which the end result I wasn't too pleased with, and you'll see very shortly how I worked. All right, so as you can see, I got a little inspired and carried away in the center there. I'm just not adding any new product to the brush, just soften up that fierce that I put on the inner corner there. So initially I was gonna put the gold gold there. I think I wanna do the fierce on the inner corner and bring it down to the lower lid. So I'm going to go ahead, complete the rest of my makeup, and then come back, finish the lower lid, and um, give you the finished look. All right, so I will be right back, angels.
light angels. We are back and I'm ready to work on the under eye. I'm going to take fierce underneath and then with a little gold liner to match with the wing. And work out. And I'm gonna use a different brush to kind of blend this out. See, I'm bringing this all the way out to where that yellow wing kind of starts at. Just a small flat shader brush, or actually a little bit fluffier of a shader brush, and just blend that a little bit so the line does not look so harsh. All right, so next up is the Remmel Ink Me Gold Liner. And I'm just gonna take a little bit on the top and bring it out and make it look more like a cat eye wing there. And that's just adding a little bit of a gold pop to it. That is kind of where I want the eyes to be right now. I'm gonna go ahead, do some liner, lashes, and come back with the finished look. Thank you, angels. Keep on watching, all right? Well, angels, we are back with the finished look. I finished up with a little bit of NYX lipstick in the color Craze, and I think it adds the proper drama to this look. Well, angels, if you've watched this far, thank you so much. I really do appreciate every single view that I get. Also, don't forget to follow me on all of my other social media. I have Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all at Angels Makeup Mayhem. Do be an angel and click subscribe, then smash that notification key so that you know every single time I upload a new video. All you angels should leave me a comment because I really love hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching, angels, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. All right, I think the only fitting gold, let me see, let me make sure. Show me images of Washington Redskins. You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. Shut up, What do you think? That sounds. All right. <laughs> I forgot to close the door. Stay by my side. I'm breathing. It's appropriate that he should be in this video. His name is Shug. That's his nickname, but his full name is Shukmani Tutanka, which is Sue for wolf. Right, baby? Go play. Be free. And guess what? No Frankie sighting at all in this video. He is asleep. He hasn't barked once. I gotta go check his pulse. Make sure he's breathing. I just checked him, he's alive. Oh, there's Big Handsome. There's Big Boy. Look, <laughs> he's like, you woke me up, mama. Say hi to the camera. Okay. Gross. All right, get down. Ah, you're crashing things. Get down. Thank you.